I'm Ms. Artastic and in this video art tutorial we're going to be creating this lovely fox artwork that features a wish for the new year. So you're going to either write or draw your wish for the new year after you design this lovely fox artwork. So grab your choice of art making mediums, so something to draw with and something to color with and let's make some art. So we're going to create our wish for the new year fox. So we're going to draw a little, a little star up at the top first before we draw the wish writing area. So we're going to draw a nice little triangular top with two lines out. We're going to bring them back in, back out, and we're going to bring them up and down to make a cute little star over out to the side. All right, in the star we're gonna draw one circle on one side, one circle on the other, and a line between. Next we're gonna color in the eyes, leaving just a little teeny tiny white dot. And we're going to connect that straight line with the letter U and to draw a nice little curving line over and color in the dark of the mouth, leaving just the tongue white. Next, we're going to draw two big curving lines coming down from the star. Just a little bit. I don't want to go too far this way. I want room for my Box. So we're just going to do one little short one that way and then because this has a lo lot of vertical space I can use, I went down and slid it across and then I'm going to stop there for now and we're going to go head on over to our lovely fox. So for the fox we're going to begin with the forehead. So I'm just going to draw some zigzag lines for some fuzzy fox forehead. We're going to draw two lines up on either side for the start of the ears. We're going to curve them back down, nice big curves, some nice big fox ears. Next I'm going to draw a dot in the middle of the forehead. From that dot we're going to go up, around and down, up, around and down. All right, we're going to take our finger and we're going to line it up with that dot and then we're just going to measure all the way down to our first knuckle there. I'm just going to place another dot. So that way we have a dot that's all about half our finger's width or length. Half our finger length down to the bottom there. And then we're just going to take those sides and we're going to connect them to that dot. And now we're going to draw a circle at the very end and color it all in, leaving just a little bit of white with a glare of light. All right, next we're going to draw the inner ear. So you can draw a parallel line along the inside of the fox's ear. I'm going to continue that forehead line down past the ear on either side, just a little bit. And then we'll use this opportunity to add some hair fuzzies in the ear to make our fox super cute. All right, we're gonna add some cheeks. So we're gonna use our zigzag lines to add cheeks on either side and then connect it to the face at the bottom. We're going to have our fox holding a little sparkler. So we're going to draw another little star and just below its nose. So we're going to have that little triangle shape again. Two lines out on either side. Back in. Out. And up. 
and we'll have a little stick down here. So we're gonna have the fox's arms or paws come down and we'll have these little paws holding just below because it's gonna have a little stick that it sits on. So we'll start off with the paws like that and we'll zigzag it up All right, here we go. We're gonna add the body and then we'll finish that sparkler. So I'm gonna zigzag down and then curve at the bottom. Now I can't go backwards up the body, so I'm gonna start at the top again, right at the head. I'm gonna zigzag it back down. And then I'm gonna smooth line in to complete the body. Now anytime that you need to see me do a step again, you can always rewind the video and go back and watch a step as many times as you would like. Or if I'm going a little bit too fast, don't forget to hit that pause button and I will, I'll just freeze for a moment and then you can hit play when you're ready to watch me continue. All right, here we go. So now I got my little body. Oh yeah, we gotta add that stars, that sparkler holder stick. Okay, so I'm gonna add that in at the bottom. And it's nice and bright, so we'll add some lines here to create this sort of detail that it's lighting up. Maybe it's sparkling all over. Oh, I just noticed our fox doesn't have any eyes. <laughs> we'll come back to that in just a moment, but let's add some feet while we're down here. We're gonna bring them on down. So we're gonna draw two lines on an angle down towards the bottom. And one straight line in the middle between the legs. And then we're gonna curve them outward. So foxes have these kind of curved hind paws, so we're gonna curve them outward. And then we'll add our little toes and bring them up and connect. Like that. Okay, zigzag at the bottom for the fuzzy end. We need a little fox tail, so I'm just gonna put a dot here, somewhere up here, wherever you want your tail to end. Doesn't matter what side you want to end. I'm gonna put a dot somewhere where that tail is ending. If you put a dot low, your tail is gonna be very short. And if you want a small, tiny tail, that's okay. If you want a nice big tail, put it up higher. Oop, I'm going zigzagging backwards. Okay, zigzag, facing up <laughs> towards the top. Great, we want the tail to hair to go away from the body. Here we go, zigzag upwards. And then we want the tail tip to be white, so I'm gonna put another little zigzag line there, so that way this will be red, and this will be white. All right, now those eyes. Okay, so we're gonna have one eye winking, so I'm gonna do a nice curving line on one side, but I'm gonna do a circle on the other side. In that circle, I'm gonna draw one big circle, and one smaller circle, and then we can color in the dark of those eyes, leaving just the circles white. Okay, that way they look shiny. Now on this side, we're gonna curve it up. And I like to draw a nice little parallel line here. Whoop, there we go. And then I can color it in. Once it looks like a nice Lucky Charms rainbow, I can color that in. Whoop, it's ready to go. If you want to have some expression, you can add little eyebrows or facial lines to indicate expression. Or you can do it anything else. If you would like to add other details, you can totally do this. If you wanna add a top hat or a party hat to celebrate the new year with, you may do that as well. You can add any choice details because remember, you are the artist of your own artwork. So give your, your artwork some artist flavor anytime you want. All right, moving on back to this new year's wish. So I'm gonna draw a nice little narrow line. Now to get, I have one marker I've been using this whole time, but I can make different marks by the angle that I use it at, right? This one has a thicker side, but if I turn it, it has a nice point at the end, right? So I can use that point. Or if I barely touch the paper, that also makes a much smaller mark than if I were to press firmly. That makes a big one. All right. Now to fade it out, I'm just gonna dash it. And I'm trying to leave some space in here because in there you can write 
your wish for the new year or a new year's wish all right so there we go i got fox drawn out here maybe i need something to stand on so i'm going to draw some use my lovely zigzag lines to add some grass for fox to stand on maybe there's some other stars in the night sky here so i'll draw some circles here and there to indicate some stars and add some lines to make this guy all bright and shiny and then over here you can write my wish for now I don't have any more room so I'm gonna go down below the new year is and I have a little bit of space so I'll write is and then I'll put dot 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 and below that you can either draw or write your wish for the new year draw or write your wish for the new year hmm I wonder what you can it could be anything you would like so anything that you would like to have as your wish for the new year you can place it there all right and once you've done that you can continue we're going to color together so you can grab, draw, grab something to color with I'm going to grab my orange it's an orange box oh where'd that go and when you're ready we can color together so we're gonna grab that orange and we're gonna color in fox. I'm gonna leave a little bit of white along the top for some highlights.
And once you're done coloring in your artwork, your lovely artwork is done. Hi there, thank you so much for watching the art lesson. Now let's dive into some more ways that you can explore Ms. Artastic art lessons. So this is another way you can explore Artastic lessons. So one, make sure that you go and find me on Instagram and TikTok. I am artastic.kids and please follow me, check it out. You'll find lots of different ways to grab art lessons and you'll also find out when new art lessons are dropped to YouTube and other places such as the blog. Next, you can go to the Ms. Artastic YouTube channel. Make sure that you become a subscriber because my friend, this is where I post a ton of weekly art drawing tutorials or art lessons for you to explore for free at home or in a classroom. And finally, make sure you go to artastickids.com. This is an essential place to go if you are someone if you're a kid looking to create art or if you're a homeschool parent or if you're just a parent or guardian looking to find art lessons for your kids to allow them to become creative, to prevent the whole let's get started um, at the kitchen table and they are not really wanting to create with their parent, don't worry because I will guide them through the art lessons and I will prevent them from getting stuck at the blank page. I know that is a huge struggle. So check it out, artastickids.com. There you'll find a blog full of free different art lessons, art lesson activity ideas, seasonal art ideas, and so much more, as well as my membership, which is my collection of art lessons online. It is an online streaming art lesson platform for families, homeschool, or classrooms, and you will be able to allow your child to um, stimulate their creative thinking and critical thinking skills, build on their motor skills, as well as they get to enjoy five new art lessons added every single month to the membership every single month. It is a growing art resource library. So you'll get hundreds of art lessons and then every single month, five new ones are added. And it, there are lots of sneak peek preview videos. So make sure you go to artastickids.com, hit the get started button, and I will see you in the membership enjoying new art lessons added every single month.